Welcome to A Matter of Fact, a production of the Pan American Health Organization for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean countries. I'm Nicola Barito. A Matter of Fact is designed to inform and educate you about the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which causes COVID-19, while taking an in-depth look at the benefits of vaccination. My guest is Dr. Merle Clark, consultant nephrologist and president of the Medical and Dental Association in St. Lucia. Welcome to a matter of fact, Dr. Clark. Dr. Clark, the impact of the COVID-19 virus on the kidneys, coupled with, uh, let's say, long COVID. Let's talk a little bit about that. COVID-19, there is still a lot that we're learning, but what scientists absolutely know now is that there is such a thing for long COVID and we are seeing it in approximately 10%, perhaps more of patients who contract COVID-19 and not necessarily individuals who had severe illness. Individuals also who had mild or moderate illness can have symptoms of long COVID and it really could affect any organ system. Fatigue is a symptom that we hear complaints about. So there are individuals who months later are not able to go back to work because they're so tired and just not back to the person they were pre-COVID. In my field of nephrology, what we are seeing, and of course we are in the process of compiling data, uh, what we have mostly is the raw data, um, but the impact of COVID-19 on kidneys is real. So um, acute infections affecting kidneys is not a new thing. And COVID-19 is not a surprise at all that we saw cases of acute kidney injury in patients who contracted COVID-19, particularly those who ended up in the intensive care unit. So we did have some of that. But I think even more, just based on the data that we, we, we look, we've seen, which has not been officially analyzed, the patients who have chronic illnesses, those who from the start were known to be more susceptible perhaps um, to adverse outcomes if they contracted COVID-19, our diabetics in particular, what we're seeing is progression of baseline kidney disease. So somebody who already had kidney disease, it worsened very rapidly and precipitously after um, an episode of COVID-19. And that is important because in the Caribbean, our figures for chronic kidney disease are staggering. Um, the cost of providing dialysis for patients with end-stage kidney disease is a burden on the healthcare system in all of the islands. So when we now have to add on those patients who would have progressed um, rapidly because of COVID-19, they were in an earlier stage and progressed rapidly, that impact study will have to be done and inevitably it's there. It's just a question of getting the data together and analyzing this raw data. Dr. Clark, let's talk specifically to St. Lucia. What advice would you give to those persons who may or may not have kidney ailments but are still on the fence about getting the COVID-19 vaccine? We know that everybody has COVID fatigue at this point, but vaccine, and there's still a lot of um, hesitancy as it pertains to vaccination in St. Lucia. We are a little under 30% vaccination, which is very unfortunate, but we would like to sell St. Lucia, and I in particular would like to urge um, the St. Lucian public to get vaccinated. It remains the best tool in our arsenal against COVID-19. Um, there are many questions which are asked. But if people um, are vaccinated and boosted and can still get COVID, what is the point of getting vaccinated? What we want to encourage St. Lucians to do is or get vaccinated because we're not sure, again, the impact of COVID-19. What if that person had not been vaccinated? Could they have ended up in the ICU? So these are the things that we must take into account. What could we have saved um, the progression, that person from having progression of kidney disease? Um, the fibrosis of the lungs. So, so many things that could happen if you end up in the ICU unvaccinated because in as much as we must concede that there are individuals who are vaccinated and still get COVID-19, the data is very clear on the fact that the large majority of patients who develop severe illness or end up in the intensive care units or high depend dependency units are unvaccinated. That is undeniable. So we'd like to continue to encourage St. Lucians to get vaccinated because it remains the best tool in our arsenal against this disease. And in as much as we're tired of it, it is not done with us yet. We're better off perhaps than we were in part because some of us have chosen to do the responsible thing in a sense and gotten vaccinated, but all of us must do it. We must be our brother's keepers. 
we must play our part in this fight against COVID-19. Thank you so much, Dr. Clark. Thank you, Nicola. This has been A Matter of Fact, a production of the Pan American Health Organization for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean countries. I'm Nicola Barito. See you next time.